In this training video, we're going to look at the use of the if function for analysis purposes within Microsoft Excel. So we've got four scenarios here. We've got some salaries going down column E and we've got departments going down column D. Now what we're trying to find out here is, for example, for the first scenario, if someone works in the administration department, they're going to go on and do a project. So anyone who works in administration is going to do a project. So the if function is perfect for this kind of analysis. So I'll start off by typing in equals, then if. I can double left click and F exit. When you're learning, it's good to use these boxes. As you get better, you can start writing them in a the formula bar. So for this example, I'll just keep on using the box for the time being for, for, this, for these examples. So the logical test is the first department, which happens to be D6. I'm asking a question, is D6 equal to, and I'm looking for administration. So it has to be typed in double inverted commas, administration, and then close inverted commas. The word false comes up because D6 equals sales. If it was, if it was administration, it would say true. So then I go into the area, if true, what do I want to see? I want to see the word project. That's going to be in double inverted commas. And if it's false, I want to see the word, I want to see just blank, leave it blank. So the formula result is blank, and that's because D6 is not administration. So wherever it finds administration, we'll see the word project, which is what we've told it to do if the value is true, and if the cell is administration. Click OK. Blank is no problem, because we're expecting that. You can double click the copy down. And now we can see every administration department is doing a project. If I go into the next example, we're looking for salaries which are less than or equal to 40,000. So if again, and I can double click, use the if. This time I'm looking at salaries. This first cell is E6. And we're asking a question, is it less than, so it's arrow to the left, or equal to, then an equal sign. And we're asking, is it less than or equal to 40,000? So just a pure data entry. If it's true, we're going to say the, this, we'll say salary is less than 40,000. So in inverted commas, salary is less than 40,000. Otherwise, I'll leave it blank. I'll just sort of the type in there. I'll leave it blank otherwise. So we've got the answer for the first one, salary is less than 40,000, and that's because 35,000 is less than 40,000. So when it comes to the 40,000 here, it should include it, because we've said less than or equal to 40,000. Click OK, widen it a bit to get the text in, double click, and we can see all the salaries which are less than or equal to 40,000, and there's the one that is equal to 40,000. So we can see how it's working. Next example, salary is greater than or equal to 55,000. We're going to show the actual salary. So equals if again. And we're testing the salary, which is E6. And we're asking a question, is it greater than, so arrow to the right, or equal to 55,000? False is the result, because the first salary is not greater than or equal to 55,000, it happens to be 35,000. If the value is true, we want to show the actual value this time. So what we do for that is just click on the, in the salary cell. So that happens to be, the first one happens to be E6. Otherwise, leave it blank. So blank is the answer for the first one, because it's not greater than or equal to 55,000. That's why it's blank. Okay. Double click, and now we can see all the salaries, which happen to be 55,000 or, or greater. And there's the one that actually equals 55,000. So we can see how it's working. The last example of if analysis and the basics of an if, in this video, we're going to look at a any salary which is less than or equal to 35,000 to give them a 10% salary increase. So a little bit of uh, calculation. So equals if again, and we're testing salary. 
We're asking a question, is it less than, sorry, to the left or equal to, and we're asking, is it less than or equal to 35,000, which the first one is. So that's why it says true. If that's the case, we want to increase the salary by 10%. So it's going to be the salary, which is then the first salary is in E6. So E6 multiplied by 1.10. So the 1 represents 100%, 0 0.10 means it's a 10% increase. So we're going to increase it by 10%. So it's gone up to 38,500. Well, if we look at the salary, it's 35,000. What's 10% of that? 3,500. 35,000 plus 3,500 will give us the mental maths of 38,500. So the maths behind this is correct. Otherwise, we're going to say, leave it blank. So it shows the answer 38,500 for the first one because that happens to be less than or equal to 35,000. Click OK, copy it down, and all the salaries now, whichever, which happen to be less than or equal to 35,000, have been increased by 10%. So this now gives an example in this video of how the if function in its basic format can be used for analysis purposes whereby we've gone through if a department is equal to administration, put them on project. If the salary is less than or equal to 40,000, show the text, salary is less than or equal to 40,000. If the salary is greater than or equal to 55,000, display the salary, which we've now done. And the last one, give us a 10% increase in salary if the salary is less than or equal to 35,000. So in this example, We've seen four pretty basic examples of the use of if and how if can be used for analysis purposes. And this completes this training video on the basics of the if and how it can be used for analysis purposes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.